Most of my summers, in, when I was a child, I uh, spent with my uh, grandparents, my maternal grandparents, and then I visited almost daily with my paternal grandparents in Wales. So I spent all my summers in a coal mining village in Wales. And uh, it was fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Because we'd get up, my, my grandmother cooked on, the f on an open fire and uh, the bathroom, there wasn't one, the toilet was, you had to go out the back gate across a, a road that was made from coal dust, cinder, and up a little hill and then there was a line of um, outhouses uh, and we had a key. And um, so I spent all my summers there and um, bathed in a tin bath once a week in front of the fire. Fire never went out because we cooked on it. And it was, and I had a most amazing time. You go out in the morning, you go out on the hills, there's always kids. And, um, but I, I think I was in my teens when I realized that there wasn't anyone else in the village except coal miners. And um, so we went to Planavan and we went to Bramau but Garnereru, um, we called it living on the Garn, and Garnereru in Welsh means a heap of stones with great um, coal tips in front of us. And it was the most extraordinary childhood, but actually we were segregated. We never went to the villages where there were farmers. We did go to the market in Brimau, and Blenavon was really, and still is, I mean, it's, big pit is there uh, and it's a natural, a national heritage town. Um, but I, I, it, it's, it took years to appreciate how um, isolated, segregated and still marvelous the experience was. So I, I share that because um, I think there are many ethnic groups that are actually segregated, separated, that we don't always know about. And I don't think that in Wales there is an enormous amount of um, conversation. I, I was talking to someone from North Wales uh, a few weeks ago who said that he didn't know there was a policy of transference and that between 1930 and 1955, 500,000 Welsh coal miners actually left Wales and they left Wales because um, uh, Westminster had this um, policy of transference in place. Um, so, so, you know, I come to my work bringing all of those experiences uh, with me. Most of the coal mining families, the sons lived at home, they worked in the mines, and during times when uh, the miners were, um, there was no work, and then they received um, some benefits and they stopped all those benefits. So th they literally were starved out of Wales. And it was just a, um, a very uh, difficult time for Welsh families because the sons could not work and so they left. And so all of my aunts and uncles left uh, in my mother's, on my mother's side, half of them left on my father's side. And so uh, what the Welsh miners are right, literally dispersed across the world. Many of them, of course, came to mines in West Virginia. Um, so it was a very hard time in Wales and the poverty was just extraordinary. And everything was owned by the mines, you know. So they were really endangered and it was a hard time.